Hey everyone, welcome back. We are back with our weekly menu. I was supposed to be putting this up yesterday, so I apologize in advance, but we have been working our tails off in this house. And we are running things to the Salvation Army to donate a bunch of things and try to get the rest of the basement done. And it's just been a challenge to say the least, which is why we are doing really simple menu planning um, these next couple of weeks because we are finally gonna finish off what I need to in the house from our complete overhaul and spring cleaning y'all and our spring cleaning is not easy we pull everything out of a room we do the wall washing the window washing the floor gets a complete overhaul washing i mean baseboards you name it we do it ceiling fans it's crazy so with that being said it takes some time and we don't want to spend a lot of time in our kitchen at night we're so super tired when that comes so that's why we're just running a day late. So let's go ahead and start down at Sunday since Sunday is our start day for our menu for the week. And let me let you know that, oh my goodness, ever since we changed to shopping groceries on a weekly basis, it has been a game changer, y'all. We've got next to zero waste when it comes to food, y'all. We are eating what we're buying. We are planning out our menu and our meals so that I know what I need to buy at the store and it is amazing. With that being said, we're also saving money at lunchtime. You all know I have two homeschoolers. One child is actually in school, public school, because she chooses to be, yet Jessica and Philip are at home doing homeschooling. So, you know, I've got lunches on the menu now too as well. But we are using leftovers from dinner from the night before. We make enough so that the next day we can eat that for lunch. So that is saving us a ton of money so we don't have to actually have additional bought items for lunches there are some times though we do make some sandwiches or something a little simple that may not be from the dinner before but most times we use dinner menu from the night before as our lunch menu the next day so we just make a couple extra things so last night was amazing my daughter Tori and I fired up my grill we had barbecue grilled chicken we had grilled hot dogs y'all it was amazing we also had some cucumber tomato salad my daughter made a ton of food we had baked beans it was just oh my gosh y'all we had so much left over for lunch today it was crazy and we still have leftovers and we also had corn on the cob so that was yesterday's dinner and today's lunch i should say so today we are going to go ahead and fire up the grill again and we're gonna make some homemade turkey burgers, y'all. I have some Genio lean ground beef trays in my freezer, so we're, we pulled one out last night so we can make some. And we're gonna make some homemade potato wedge french fries air fryer style in our air fryer tonight for dinner. Make enough leftover for tomorrow for lunch as well. We probably will not make double the french fries. We'll do fresh french fries tomorrow for lunch and do it that way. Then on Tuesday, we're gonna have homemade pizza, y'all. We do sheet pan pizzas, where we make two huge sheet pan pizzas. One is gonna be a chicken Alfredo pizza. That is Danya and Philip's favorite pizza. The other pizza will be a barbecue style sauced pizza, and we will layer that with maybe some boneless, skinless chicken breast I still have in the freezer that I can cook up and make that as a topping. We've got onions, we've got green peppers. I just need to get a can of pineapple. We don't have that, but I do have some money still left over in the budget to be able to do that and get a can of crushed pineapple. So we will be making sheet pan pizzas on Tuesday. On Wednesday, I am pulling out a brisket, y'all. I have a huge brisket in my freezer. It's a little over eight pounds, y'all. It's crazy big. And with that brisket, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it in my slow cooker and we're gonna cook it down and we're gonna top it off, drain it and top it off with some barbecue sauce and make some pulled brisket sandwiches. If my kids don't want the sandwich version, they also can do a wrap version. I do have plenty of tortillas on hand. We'll make some homemade potato salad to go with it. It will be amazing. And we'll do some kind of vegetable as well to go on the side. So on Thursday, we're gonna go ahead and do leftovers because we will have a ton of that in stock. On Friday, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do some shredded chicken tacos, y'all. Now, my kids can do it a couple of different ways with the tacos as well. They can choose to do shredded chicken nacho type style tacos. They can just do 
the wrap version of the chicken shredded tacos, y'all. It's amazing. I may even go ahead and pull out some pork carnitas. I have 16 pounds of that in my freezer. What I do is I go ahead and I cook the pork roast down. I shred it. I add some pork carnitas seasoning to it. And then I put it in little one pound deli containers that I buy on Amazon and they're freezer safe. So I put them in the freezer in one pound um, containers already pre-cooked, already pre-seasoned. And I may pull some of that out as well. And we can have that. Now, like I said, they could have it as a wrap style. They can do a nacho taco style. We'll have the pork carnitas maybe to go with that as well. So they can have a toss up between either the shredded chicken or the pork carnitas because I have a ton of that in stock. Um, I have lots and lots <laughs> in containers. So we could do that. Or I also have hint of lime taco shells that I bought at Walmart um, just the other week. And we might give that a try as well if they would prefer that. And the last version that we can do for that for either the shredded chicken tacos or the pork, pork carnitas, carnitas shredded um, is that we can also use my little, um, I don't know what you call it, I call it a taco bowl maker because it is a little metal star and you put your tortilla in it and you bake it in the oven for about 10 minutes at 350 degrees and you pull it out and it is a hard crunchy taco shell and then you can add and layer your taco toppings and whatever your choice of meat is in case for us it's going to be the shredded chicken or the pork carnitas shred in there and top it all off with all those toppings and any kind of salsa and things like that we might need as well and it can make you a taco salad which y'all I bought that like 15 20 years ago at a yard sale and at first I didn't even know what it was I just thought it was really cool and then I had seen a video and come across something talking about how to make homemade taco salad bowls and a lady had it in her video and I was like oh my gosh I have one of those I've never used it I didn't know what it was about and so about two years ago I started making it and using it because y'all I had it that long and I didn't even know what it was for I just thought it was really cool so we have that as well so like I said shopping on a weekly basis has led us to be able to create we create our menu first and then what we do is we shop our house first pantry all four of my deep freezers my extended prepper pantry we've been working down as well and rotating food on that we shop that first and then I go back and then I put on the list what we actually need to shop at the store most of the times it's going to be the perishables that I really need to stock up on because those you can't last very long I have a very large extended prepper pantry that we've been working down for multiple months because I want to work that pantry down so that I can rotate my items and put new items on the shelf. But right now we have been working through a very large rotational um, eating down of our prepper pantry and our four deep freezers. Y'all, I still have a ton of food in stock. It's getting crazy. I think my prepper pantry overall was a six month stock, y'all. It was crazy large. So with that being said, we're still working that down. But I've noticed if we shop our pantry, our freezers, our fridge, all of that first, I don't need as much right now except for a lot of the perishables because that is saving us so much money to be able to eat what we already have on hand and trying to create a lot of our menu around what we already have on hand because prices are going crazy insane. Increases are still continuing and I don't think they're gonna stop yet. I think this is gonna be our new normal and that's sad to say, but I think that's what's gonna end up happening when it comes to prices. I don't think inflation is ever gonna bring them back down to what we used to call the normal. I think now it's considered our normal. So with that being said, we're eating down what we have in our pantry currently and we're going to continue to do that until we do um, our major restock in the future so with that being said like i said eating down what we have only buying what we need for the week and being able to use our leftovers from dinner the night before making a little extra so we can have it for lunch the next day saves us a ton of money so for our household shopping on the weekly is going to be a thing from here until the distant future because it is saving so much. And all of that money is rolling over into my 1K emergency fund. Whatever I don't use out of my weekly budget, which I budget $200 per week, is gonna go into my 1K emergency fund. I am so close to completing that. And then the rest of that money from then on out, that's gonna be rolling over each week, if there's any money left over, and there's been a ton of money left over, is gonna roll over into my one year emergency fund, which is a fully funded one year emergency 
fun that I am working on as we speak as well. So that's what we have for you today. I apologize, the video is up a day late, but y'all, we are running around this house like chickens with our heads cut off. A lot of things are going on. My daughter is helping me with so much things up here. She came up here early to help me out a little bit more. She's been doing amazing. It's been great to be seeing my grandson. I'm super excited. And my kiddos are also helping because we're kind of like pushing them to help. <laughs> so with that being said, this was our menu for this week. We'll be back next Sunday, hopefully on schedule, and we'll be giving you our menu for next week. Till then, please remember to stay safe. Always take care. Without Limits Budgets is out.